Welcome back to the channel and in today's video we are tackling the most confusing anime among the Dragon Ball fandom, Super Dragon Ball Heroes. Super Dragon Ball Heroes is the fifth series in the Dragon Ball franchise. We'll get into the history a little bit later but before we get any further make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any updates. Now without further ado let's get it! Super Dragon Ball Heroes is a Japanese original net animation and promotional animation series for the cards and video games of the same name. It's a manga-inspired sequel to the Dragon Ball franchise created by Toy Animation. Unlike its predecessors, Akira Toriyama had nothing to do with this project. The anime premiered on July 1, 2018 in Japan, later being released in the US on February 22, 2022. This series is mostly for fan service and has a lot of unique interactions that simply wouldn't be possible in the original series. Super Dragon Ball Heroes consists of three arcs. The first part of the series is called the Universe Mission Arc and consists of the Prison Planet Saga and the Universal Conflict Saga. The second part is called the Big Bang Mission Arc and this includes the Universe Creation Saga as well as the New Space Time War Saga. The final arc today is the Ultra God Mission Arc and this consists of the Supreme Kai of Time Saga. Now let's get into the story. Number 1. Prison Planet Saga This saga introduces us to the mysterious Fu, who lures Goku and Vegeta to the prison planet after kidnapping future Trunks. It is an experimental area that Fu has created and filled with strong warriors from different planets and eras to force them into a game where they must collect 7 special Dragon Balls if they want to escape. Future Mai also accompanies them to the prison planet and the group is soon confronted with Zeno Goku, against who Goku has to fight. As Vegeta becomes suspicious of Fu, they learn that Fu is responsible for everything that goes on in the prison planet, including the kidnapping of Trunks. Fu decides to give Vegeta a Dragon Ball as part of his experiment before he teleports away to watch the fight somewhere else. Soon after, Zeno Goku decides to stop his fight with Goku in search of Fu. Later, Goku and Vegeta are confronted with the evil Saiyan Cumber, who eventually fights against the two. Meanwhile, Trunks manages to break out of the prison and form an alliance with Cooler. They manage to defeat Bojack to get the two-star special Dragon Ball from him. Zeno Goku returns with Zeno Vegeta to support their counterparts in the fight against Cumber. They turn into Zeno Vegito, but Cumber's ever-growing power proves to be a nuisance for them. Goku then re-enters the battle in his perfected Ultra Instinct state, just as Goku and Cumber unleash a powerful explosion that destroys the chains that hold the prison planet together. Number 2. The Universal Conflict Saga The Universal Conflict Saga picks up right where the last one left off and consists of several different subplots. It begins with Fua, the Supreme Kai of Universe 6, informing Vegeta and Future Trunks that his universe is under attack and the two offer their help. Upon the arrival, they encounter two Tuffle Twins who absolutely destroy Hit and the Saiyans of Universe 6 and immediately find themselves in action. It soon turns out that a new villain named Hearts and a returning few Zamasu are planning to create a new universe with a universe seed. And things get worse and worse as the Tuffles begin to infect the heroes. From the center of the prison planet, the core area warriors emerge led by Hearts. With the plan to gather energy for the Universe Seed, the group travels first to Universe 6 and then to Universe 11. Here it is revealed that Goku survived the explosion of the prison planets and joins Vegeta and Trunks to support the Pride troops in their fight against the core area warriors. When Hearts sets off separately into Universe 7, Shin takes Goku and Vegeta with him to chase him. Meanwhile, Cumber is teleported to an underwater cave where he can easily be defeated by Fu's modified golden metacooler. In Universe 7, Goku and Vegeta, despite being Super Saiyan Blue, are defeated by Hearts. Hit and Jiren then come to help them. But with the support of Rags, Hearts can merge with the Universe Seed to greatly improve its abilities. Goku, Vegeta, Hit, and Jiren fight against the empowered Hearts. Hearts begin to use their gravitational forces to pull down a giant planetoid to destroy planet Earth. With little choice, Goku and Vegeta merge into Gogeta and fire powerful Kamehameha which wipes out the meteor and hits hearts. After defusing, the heroes gather down on the battlefield after successfully saving the day. Meanwhile, Fu watches the aftermath of the fight and says it's time for the real trial to finally begin. Number 3. The Dark King Mekuburu Saga 
The Dark King Mekubora saga revolves around characters from the Zeno timeline. Some of them were first featured in the Prison Planet saga. It is mainly set in the world of Dragon Ball GT and the Demon Kingdom that introduces many powerful new characters to the series. There are some great battles scattered throughout the saga and 4. After defeating Finn and several other powerful enemies, the Zeno fighters finally find themselves against the real villain of the saga, Meki Kabura, and an epic battle takes place. Instead of Goku or Vegeta, however, it is Zeno Trunks who finally puts an end to the villain by sealing him with a single blow of his Keyblade while in his Super Saiyan God form. Number 4. The Universe Creation Saga This saga begins at the Time Nest, the headquarters of the Time Patrol. The Supreme Kai of Time informs Zeno Trunks and Zeno Pan that their mystical bird Toki Toki has disappeared. She sends the two to find him, while at the same time worrying about a supposed bird of catastrophe who has been released. Meanwhile, Toki Toki has appeared on Earth in the main timeline, where Goku finds him while training with Vegeta, Gohan, Piccolo, Krillin, and Android 17. Zeno Trunks and Zeno Pan arrive and are happy to see that Toki Toki is safe, with Zeno Pan explaining that his existence is very important to the inner workings of the multiverse. Suddenly, the group is interrupted by the arrival of all 12 gods of destruction. Champa identifies Toki Toki and Beerus immediately tries to destroy him. But Toki Toki uses his magic to defuse Beerus' attack. Goku asks Beerus what's going on, and Beerus explains that he has received a premonition that a mysterious bird will appear in Universe 7 and destroy the entire multiverse. Zeno Trunks protests that this is not possible, and Zeno Pan quickly flees with Toki Toki back to the Time Nest. Quintella, Champa, and the other gods of destruction are upset by the defiance of mortals and immediately prepare to destroy the Earth in response. But Beerus asks them to step back and says that as the God of Destruction, he will discipline the mortals themselves. Goku, Vegeta, Zeno Trunks, and the others all set out to fight Beerus. Meanwhile, Fu watches the scene from an unknown location and says that this is the beginning of his new experiment. He now owns a strange glowing tree and a strange Toki Toki. Suddenly, Zeno Goku and Zeno Vegeta arrive and tells everyone that the universe tree grown from the universe seed in the Universal Conflict Saga absorbs life from planets everywhere. Not long after, Fu reappears and reveals that he plans to use the energy from the 12 universes to create a new universe all for himself. While Beerus sacrifices his energy to stop the tree's growth, the heroes set out to put an end to Fu's evil plans once and for all, encountering many new and old villains in the process. Fu eventually transforms into the Dark King and successfully creates his new universe, into which both Vegito and Zeno Vegito seem to be sent. Number 5. The New Space Time War Saga The New Space Time War Saga begins with a mysterious warrior in black standing on a building while Goku fights Frieza and Metacooler on the streets below. It is explained that the hero is trapped in Fu's new universe, although he can still communicate telepathically with Zeno Trunks. Just as it looks like Frieza and his brother are going to defeat Goku, Hart shows up and nails them down with his gravity cage technique. After being manipulated by Fu, he now seeks revenge and aligns himself with Goku in the hope of getting him with Goku. A powerful masked Saiyan later revealed to be an alternate version of Goku Black empowers Frieza and Cooler with Dark Dragon Balls until the balls are removed by the cloaked Saiyan. After buying Goku and Vegeta time to train in a pocket dimension, the Cloak Saiyan reveals himself to be an ally helping the Z Fighters. Goku and Vegeta return, fuse into Gogeta, and kill Goku Black. While the Cloak Saiyan gathers all of the fake universe's Dragon Balls and uses them to help everyone escape. Goku and Vegeta find themselves back at the universe tree, where they're confronted by Fu, who managed to break out of the time labyrinth by fusing with Dogi Dogi. As a result, He's become far more powerful and defeats both Gogeta and Zeno Gogeta. The Supreme Kai of Time enables Goku and Zeno Goku to combine their energies. Goku is finally able to cut Fu off from the tree and absorbs its energy for himself, making him strong enough to overpower Fu, destroying the universe tree before the Supreme Kai of Time uses Toki Toki's power to repair the damage to the multiverse. Meanwhile, the Cloak Saiyan reports back to his master who is revealed to be a former Supreme Kai of Time named Aos. Number 6. The Supreme Kai of Time Saga Aos steals an artifact called the Scroll of Eternity from Kronoa, the current Supreme Kai of Time. On Earth, Goku is invited to a martial arts competition called the Super Space Time Tournament, featuring teams of seven fighters from many different timelines over the series. He accepts and becomes a member of his timeline's team, along with Vegeta, Gohan, Piccolo, Hit, 
Jiren, and Yamcha. The teams are brought together, including a team sent by the Time Patrol, whose mission is to get the Scroll of Eternity back from Ios. And the tournament begins. Eos reveals herself and explains that she is holding the tournament to eliminate most of the existing timelines, in which the remaining fighters must face off against four powerful cloak warriors who are revealed to be alternate versions of Piccolo, Bardock, and future Gohan, as well as an unknown alien woman, who have all been empowered using the Dark Dragon Balls. And that's it for the story so far because this anime is still going on. So this is about it for Super Dragon Ball Heroes for now. Please let me know if I missed anything in the comments. Don't forget to like, hit the subscribe button, and click the bell notification icon so you never miss another video. And until next time, peace.